Welcome back to another episode of Glass Science. My name's Matt Yasa, and for today's project, I'm going to fix this flashlight. I ended up dropping it a while back and breaking the reflector and the lens on it, so now it's just a single LED bulb. Now it doesn't actually shine very far away, only a few feet, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that today. I'm going to heat up this gather and point it up towards the ceiling, and gravity will help pull that down into a more of a flatter sphere. And I'll go ahead and grab my flashlight. And it's always good to have a picture of what you're working on or something that you can reference to. Because when you're trying to recall dimensions or sizes from memory, a lot of times it's a little bit off than what it really needs to be. So if you're making a, a character or a, an animal, for example, it's good to have an actual picture or even a little figurine. I went ahead and got a punty ready, and I sharpened up the end on that graphite paddle, and I puntied up to the front. So here is it on that punty. I'm going to go ahead and heat up the bottom and flatten out the base where the LED will sit. I'll push in a little hole with my tweezers, and whoops. When using punties, that's uh, a common thing to happen, uh, especially if they're too cold and you don't have them melted into the object enough. And if you've seen that glasssmith safety video I made, uh, that's why I really try to emphasize the importance of making your desk fireproof and the floor below it. And I'll just flame polish that bottom a little bit and then remove it from the punty with a little whack. So I'll go ahead and gather up some more glass and make a second one that's a little bit larger and more pointed. And I'm putting a lot of heat into this. It's gathering up very quickly. I'm going to have to point it upward a little bit, as you can see, to keep it from slumping over too much. And you also don't want to just heat the end or the gather, but you want to heat between the gather and the rod. That way it just continually melts into that blob of glass. And I'll go ahead and grab a second rod to use as a punty, sharpen it up on my little paddle. And I'll go ahead and punty up to the front, but on this one, I'm going to actually cut the rod back a little bit and leave a bit of a section so that I can gather it into the marble to make it even bigger. And I got a quick story for you. It's kind of the reason I came up with this idea, this project. And so late one night, my cat was sitting at the back door, very anxious. And he's a pretty good cat. I figured I'd let him out for a little bit. But then I noticed he went out and he started staring at something. So being curious, I had to go out and see what he was looking at. But unfortunately, there was no moon. It was just very dark out. But I could hear something moving around. It was kind of pausing and moving, pausing and moving. It was kind of freaking me out. You know, I thought it could have been like a, like a chupacabra or like a werewolf, you know. So I gather up my cat real quick. I run him inside. I grab the flashlight. And I go back out and I figure if I can just see its eyes, you know, kind of see how far off the ground they are, how far apart they are, then that would actually give me a good idea of what it could be. You know, how large is this werewolf? But it's broken, you know, and only shines out a few feet. I, I thought it would be enough to reflect off its eyes, but it is just too far away. And that's when it hit me. The magnifying glass from episode two. So I ran back inside. I grabbed my magnifying glass, the one with the green handle. And I went back out, put it up there, and boom, I could see it. And what large, crazy, bloodthirsty monster was it? It was a little bunny. Yeah, just, just, just a little bunny. It was actually more scared of me and the cat. I think it was trying to hide, like, in the grass or something. Oh, that poor thing. But uh, the lens worked. You know, I was pretty stoked. I didn't think it would work so well. And it gave me a pretty cool idea to design, like, a super flashlight with, like, LEDs, a bunch of them, and then compound lenses. But that's going to take a bit of money, and that's the one thing I'm running short on these days. When it comes to blowing glass and running a studio... There's a lot of expenses and overhead to keep up on. So it can be a good idea to have a small part-time job to help counter those expenses so you can build up your studio faster. 
And of course you're doing more work, but it's one of the things that really helped me afford my equipment and even the camera equipment that I'm recording these uh, episodes on. However, uh, some bad news, there was a change of employment and I wasn't working a lot of hours, so they pretty much just decided, you know, to, just to let me go. And it, it has been making things a bit harder as I'm trying to grow the channel here. You know, I was planning for that second camera to get another viewing angle and then do some advertising to get my videos out there more to get some more exposure. But now I'm on a pretty tight budget. However, the good news is I have a lot more time to spend here on the channel. And in a way, I do feel like there are some uh, positive aspects about it. And not just the extra time, but how it kind of pushes me in this new direction. You know, I was there for about 10 years and kind of fall into this groove. It'll be good to change things up a bit. But, you know, you guys can help me out there. Uh, go ahead and share this video or share another one you might like. Maybe invite a friend to check out the channel. Oh, and I fell off my pun again on this other one I'm working on. And like I said before, that's kind of a common problem with cold punties is that they might break off early. One tip, if it does keep breaking off on you, uh, you then you definitely want to melt it in a little bit more or even just use a thicker rod. You know, you might have a tendency to want to just reattach it again and again the same way. But if it keeps happening, then it means you need to upgrade your technique. Just a little more flame polishing on the bottom and voila! It sits perfectly. And now we go to the test. And here's a flashlight on without the lens I just made. And boom, there's that lens. It's super bright, very focused. And I'll go into a side by side. And you can really see the difference here. And again, that left video is without any lens. And the right one is with that second lens, the pointed one. I found out that the pointed one actually worked better than the flat one. And thank you for watching that video, guys. I, I really hope you enjoyed it. If there's any questions or suggestions, leave it down in the comment section below. And I'll make sure to answer them in the next video. And one more thing I don't want you to forget to have a great day.